and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney, and today is Friday. Happy Friday. But today I'm going to be showing you what I packed for my very active Disney vacation and talk you through all of it because I think I did a really good job, if I do say so myself, pat myself on the back. Uh, but before we get into that, I would like to say today is Friday, and today's Love Notion Feature Friday one is a really good one. It is the Breckenridge Henley. If you don't have this pattern, you need this pattern. I have made this as a shirt, like a ready to wear, like, not ready to wear, like a shirt that I wear um, just with, you know, like out and about. I have also made this top as a sleeping top. I have paired it with the um, Resolution joggers for my daughter and she sleeps in this the set a ton. I've also paired it with the Luna Lounge shorts and I have like a short sleep Breckenridge that I really love as a PJ set as well. So if you are doing any kind of um, holiday sewing, the Breckenridge makes a great, great, not only Henley top to wear around, but also a really great option for um, sleepwear. It makes a really cute pajama set paired with the Resolution jogger bottoms is my favorite way to do it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, or the Luna Lounge shorts, depending on where you are. So Breckenridge Henley is $5 today only. So if you don't have that one in your stash, definitely head over and you can use Tomcat 10 to get an additional 10% off that sale price. So that is my plug for the Love Notions Feature Friday sale. <laughs> All right, I'm also trying to stand back a little bit so I can keep my head in frame because I wanted my shoes and stuff to be in frame. Okay, let's talk about packing for Disney or any kind of active vacation. So this could be anything that you're going to be walking a ton, sightseeing, whatever, um, where you want to be in like active wear, which is definitely the way that we went with our Disney vacation. So we just got back, you're watching this on Friday, um, a week ago from tomorrow, so this, the previous Saturday that you're watching this. Um, weather. The weather down in Orlando was between, um, I think, 84, the highs were 84 to 87, but it was very humid. Now, we did luck out that it was overcast most of every day that we were there, um, but when that sun came out, oh my word, it was like, it was like fire beaming down. <laughs> which I guess is the sun beaming down on you. It was very, very hot. And when you're standing in long lines, um, although we kind of figured that out with the Genie Plus and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, whole nother conversation. I feel like we navigated the vacation, the trip. It wasn't a vacation. It was a trip very well, had a wonderful time and really, um, and I was comfortable the whole time. So most of this stuff, with the exception of obviously my shoes, my bag and my hat, and one shirt, everything else is handmade. So um, I will talk about where I got fabrics and the patterns that I used and why I love them. All right, so we were in the park five days. Um, we had a five day park pass. Um, see, we traveled on Saturday, then we were at the parks set, uh, Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday we took a break and just hung out by the pool. I did a little bit of laundry. We'll talk about that. And then we were back in the parks Thursday and Friday and then headed home again the following Saturday. So um, I did know that we would have access to a uh, laundry, like they have a um, laundry machines there, laundry machines, washing machines and dryers there at the hotel. We stayed at the Yacht Club, um, which is in walking distance of both Hollywood Studios and Epcot. That whole area is my favorite place to stay. We go about every five years. We don't go super often, but every five years. And we've stayed at the Beach Club, the Yacht Club now, and also we've stayed at the Boardwalk. So we've stayed at each of those places three times. Um, and those are my favorite. I mean, the location is just really good. So that's kind of how the breakdown of our trip went. I knew I wanted to be in active wear. I knew I'd be sweating. I wanted things that wicked. I wanted things that um, wouldn't chafe when I was walking. Um, I wanted to be comfortable. I knew we were going to be doing a lot of walking. So those were my criteria when picking out my clothes. We did an average of 24,000 steps a day, <laughs> which is insane. Um, it's insane. So much walking. Um, so I wanted to be comfortable and I will tell you at the end of each day, everything that I had on my body was not wearable again without being washed. So <laughs> it was a sweaty situation and everyone was pretty gross. 
so everything I packed is here. Um, obviously, I packed um, socks that I don't have here. Um, No-show socks that um, we really love Bombas. Um, no, no show socks period. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're cushioned and they're very comfortable on your feet. Um, obviously I took underwear and bras, um, and then a cover up and a swimsuit because we had a pool and then one set of pajamas. And I did take my, um, Luna loungewear, the yellow and white stripes, the tank with the pants. Cause I was, I mean, I was in a hotel room with my son, <laughs> my kids. So I wanted to be you know, somewhat decent, you know, and, and I slept with my daughter. So we were, we had a room with two queen, queen beds, but um, my kids don't like to sleep with each other, which is fine. So I slept with my daughter, my husband slept with my son, um, but still, you know, in the room, I wanted to be, you know, put together. That's what I love about that Luna loungewear set because there's a built-in bra to that top. So I don't feel indecent <laughs> when you're around other people. So I had that with my cropped pants. So that is the things that are not seen here. I also packed in packing cubes for the first time. Look that up on Amazon. They're literally just, you can make your own, I guess, um, cubes that you roll your clothes and put them in, and then you just pack the cubes in your suitcase. It made everything so easy to find. And even when we were packing to come home, because we put all the dirty clothes in one, one of my kids' suitcases, and then it just made everything really easy. Um, and then I, these were the I, items that I packed for wearing. All right, so let's start with the bottoms. So you guys have seen both of these. So my sister was like, I'm probably just going to take, you know, athletic shorts and skorts. And I thought, you know what? A skort is an excellent idea. And I am so glad I did. I wore skorts every single day in the park and I will never go back to athletic shorts. <laughs> I don't think. Skorts are the way to go, people. So you guys have seen these. These are, um, this is the Green Style Creations Pace Skort. And it's just kind of flat, flat in the front. And then it's got this cute little um, pleated back. I, um, and then I used Ponty for the waistband because I used a stretch woven for the skirt. This I got off to Stashify, but I think she still has some in a few different colors. I'll link it down below if that is the case. Cause she was, um, Carrie from to Stashify was selling the fabric. And I used this fabric for a couple pairs of shorts for my son. And then these two pace skirts for myself. And I have been wearing these a ton. So they've got the little shorts underneath. And this is just a black trico that I had in my stash. Um, that I used for the little shorts, but it's kind of a slick knit and, um, they've got the little pockets. I wear these for golfing all the time, but this also works well if you need to stick a phone in there. Um, but I'll show you what I did with my phone here in a second. And I just have the pocket on the one side. So I have two of these. I have this red one. And then I also have this kind of a cobalt blue, same material, just a different color. And I actually had a Ponty that matched this blue like perfectly like scraps, which, you know, when does that happen? <laughs> and I use the same fabric, the Trico, um, for the little shorts underneath. I love these because my little, the little shorts hit me, um, where my thigh is full right here. So hit right below. So nothing was riding up and the Trico was, and again, it was in my stash. I don't even know where it came from, but, um, it kept things slick but I will show you what I used for the shorts and the other ones, which I felt look, worked really well. And I don't know if it was the drafting or what, um, but for the most part, I wasn't constantly having to tug the shorts down. I did maybe a couple, like when we get off a ride, you know, maybe they would kind of have bunched up into, you know, my leg crease and I would just yank them down real quick. But walking around, these were phenomenal. Um, again, I sweated so much that I had to wash them after the first wear, but it worked out fine. Um, I had four squirts with me and, um, let's see, I rewore only one, I guess, but I did have to wash it, wash them. I did wash them because our room was smelling like a fraternity house. <laughs> okay. And I'll show you how I paired these as well here in just a second. Let me show you the pieces first. Okay, so that, that was the first score. Now, right before we left, I've had those in my stat, or in my wardrobe for a while. Loved, again, wear them for golfing and all that. And they worked fantastic at the, at the parks. But I wanted something a little more flirty. My sister um, had had on a, last time I was with her, kind of a, more of a circle skirt type skirt that she got from Lululemon. And it was just really cute. I liked the, um, the look of it. She actually had a couple of two different ones on this time in Disney that I think I can, I want to hack the pace skirt to look like, or I could hack this other pattern that I used. 
So my friend Marissa, who has so helped me on Instagram, made the Green Style Creations um, rally skirt, and I thought it was so cute, and so I made myself a couple, and again, so glad I did. So this one is just like, it comes with a um, circle skirt, a full circle skirt, or a three-quarter circle skirt, and a few different lengths. This is the shortest length, um, but I didn't shorten anything. I didn't do any alterations to the pattern. Um, I made the size that fit my hips because, you know, the waist is stretchy and it worked great. And I did, you can do briefs under this or the shorts. And I went with the shorts. Um, and the shorts have a little pocket that's here on both sides. And I put that in on both. Um, and then it's just, yeah. So this one's the full, this is the full circle. So it looks like it's got pleats, but it really doesn't. It's just, it's sewn straight in, but it is a full circle skirt. And um, this is a swim nylon uh, spandex fabric from uh, the fabric store down in New Zealand. And um, I had bought this, and I've got some in brown too. I had also bought kind of a brick color that I made active wear out of that ended up not working great, but it's perfect for this. If they still have anything like this, I will link it down below. And on another note, because I've got some other fabric store fabrics here, I do have, they've recently sent me a coupon code for you guys. You can get 10% off your order at the fabric store down in New Zealand with Tomcat 10, which is so kind. Um, they sent me another um, uh, discount code for my class members that are going to be at my in-person class, which, um, and then on top of that, they decided to go ahead and send me one for all of my viewers. So Tomcat 10 will get you 10% off the fabric store, but I will link it if they've got anything similar um, to this down below and also a couple of the shirts. I, yeah, so these shorts worked great as well. Like this nylon, it's what you'd make a swimsuit out of. So it's a nylon spandex, but it um, is kind of, I mean, this is more matte. It's not shiny, but it's pretty slippery. And so it, there was no chafing. Your legs just went right along and it was perfection. There's also a gusset in the shorts of these, which I find very comfortable because you don't have anything cutting into your crevices. <laughs> and I think it's so cute. I love this pattern. I, there will be more of these. In fact, I think I love this one even better than the pace skirt. If I had to pick a skirt pattern, this rally skirt would be my favorite. Um, and again, I just bought it and grabbed it for uh, this vacation. Well, and for, I mean, I, I will never wear sports shorts again. It will be sports, will be my active wear um, when it comes to short things from here on out. And then this one is the three quarter. This is actually leftover um, fabric from my uh, resolution joggers. I had to buy more when I was making those because I didn't have quite enough fabric to finish them. This came from Surge Fabrics. Uh, and I must have, I mean, I, I guess I just bought a couple yards thinking, well, it's a navy and I'll just make something else out of it. And it worked perfectly. So navy little skirt, same shorts as the other one. Um, you know, I did the, the shorts with, it's got the gusset. I did the shorter length. I didn't change anything. On this one, though, I left the hem roll. I didn't hem it at all. I just, when I sewed my side seams, um, when I surged them, I just tied them off and tucked them back in. Sorry, that was throwing off my white balance. To finish that off, so I tied off those um, serger thread tail and then tucked it back into the stitching and just left that hem raw because this doesn't ravel and that is the easiest way. And then you're not having to hem a, any kind of a circle skirt. I wish I would have done it on this one, but I forgot and it already cut my thread tails on my serging when I did the side seams. So I did have to go ahead and hem this one. But this one I left raw and that is how I will do it going forward. It was so easy. So comfortable, guys. Okay. And then for shirts, I took um, five shirts because again, we were in the park five days. Um, I took a dress for day six, which was our off day just because I prefer dresses in the heat. And, um, and then we'll talk about the two dresses here in a second. The first ones that I knew, these have been in my stash, um, or my wardrobe for quite a while. These are both the Cashmere Cedar Dolman. Love this pattern. It is great for active wear. I have made these both out of a Merino nylon blend from the fabric store. And it is perfect because Merino is naturally wicking and it's naturally antimicrobial. So it doesn't stink. Um, and then the nylon just makes it really durable. So I, um, these are, these have like a facing, so the neckline doesn't stretch, but they sits really beautifully. And then there's a facing down here for the tie. It just sits really, really cute. Um, 
I guess I didn't use the facing for this one. What did, how did I finish? I bound the neckline on this one. Yeah, huh, I just realized that I did that. I, these have been in my wardrobe forever. So I bound the neckline on this one, used the facing for this one. The facing does come with the pattern. And then um, faced my hems and so I could have the beautiful tie. These are just workhorses. Um, I wash and let these air dry when I, after I've worn them. And again, they, they just wear and everything beautifully. They wick, they're, it's wonderful. So this is a, and it's not itchy, a merino nylon blend from the fabric store and I will link any others that they've got down below. Um, next, I took my, God, this poor shirt has been through the ringer. This is my Liesl & Co. Maritime Tee, and I made it in this beautiful cotton modal blend from, um, Style Maker Fabrics, but it's getting, I mean, I've just worn it a ton. Can you see how bobbly it's getting? I love this color so much. Um, this is the color Apricot. Um, if she still has some, I'll link it down below. I've just, and I, I dry my t-shirts. I'm just too lazy to let those, um, air dry, which I know doesn't they don't last as long but man i mean it still wears great um uh, i guess i could depill it but i love this t-shirt and it has been worn and washed a bajillion times it's just it's a really good one so this is the lisa and co maritime tee and then i took my um itch to stitch glenelli tee which is the beautiful little square neckline this is the same fabric as the other one this is a cotton modal um blend from uh, Style Maker as well in this red color. I think this came from Style Maker. I'm pretty sure this one did as well. But it's a, I know it's a cotton modal, so it's got some drape to it. Um, this one's not quite as bad a shape as the orange one. Um, it's a little newer. So um, anyway, I just love the neckline on this. Admit it's still like a red t-shirt. And you can see I had a color palette going here with the red, the navy, and then kind of the um, caramely colored, mustardy colors as well. And then finally, I took this ready-to-wear Kansas City tee. Um, it's cropped, mostly because Kansas City played Monday night football. On the Monday, we were there, and everyone else was wearing Chiefs gear. And these are in my color palette, which is the only reason I own anything that's spirit wear related. <laughs> and it just says Kansas City, so it's my, which is where we're from. So um, it's like my homage to my hometown. So those were my tops. And I paired... This paste skirt with this shirt, so cute. And I just did a little um, French tuck, the little half tuck um, with my shirts just into the front of those skirts and it, it worked out really well. That way you can see a little bit of a waist definition without it being boxy, worked perfectly. Then I paired this cute little skirt with my red. That was really cute. A really cute little outfit. Again, I just did a little half tuck in the front of the skirt. Uh, um, I paired this one paste skirt with this for a cute little look. And then I did this one got worn twice, and it got worn with both of the cedar dolmens on two different days. Okay. And that's my other rally skirt. Okay, then I did take um, my title dress, my Love Notions title, to wear um, on the day that we weren't at the parks. So we went to the pool and stuff like that, and I did some laundry, of which... I put on my bathing suit and then did laundry and my husband had a brand new pair of shorts that had not been washed and it ruined my dress. Can you see? I have tried to get, it got dye all over it. And it ruined one of my daughter's shirts too. It's all over the dress and I have tried everything that I know, the writ dye removal, everything to try and salvage this. And um, yeah. This is very sad. I'm going to have to make another. This is one of my favorite dresses. So I need to find similar fabric and remake this dress. Um, but this is a great dress. I get comments on it all the time. It's comfortable. It was perfect for our day off. And then finally, I took, this is a McCall's dress. Can't remember the number. I'll obviously leave it linked down below. <laughs> a McCall's pattern. It's a tiered dress. I love this dress. Um, and I took this because there were a couple of days that we park hopped. So we went in the morning till mid-afternoon, came back from like, 
1.30 to 3.30, where it's like the heat heat of the day, and then went back out to the park for dinner and do, you know, until the evening time. And I wore this dress twice. It did get washed in between those two times because even just wearing it for a couple, you know, hours in the evening, I still got sweaty. But I loved having an extra little dress to throw on to do an outfit change. So I like went back and showered my body off and stuff, threw this on. It's so light and cool and was perfect for the evening when we went out for dinner a couple of times. Well, we went out to dinner every night, obviously, but... <laughs> For the nights that I didn't have to be in what I was wearing all day long, this worked really great. Okay, the last little bit here. Shoes. I took my Doc Martens because they are very comfortable and I wore these to and from the airport. I also had um, a pair of jeans and a, um, my three quarter length um, Breton stripe, navy and white stripe t-shirt with a with my navy uh, Harper that I wore to the airport both on both Saturdays because I didn't wear those pieces at all because it was so hot, but it was chilly here. So that outfit just got worn to and from. Um, but I wore my do or my um, Birkenstocks both of those days and then when I went back and changed, um, you know, into my dresses, I would pair these. I would say this was great because it gave my feet a chance to rest and change in shoes. And then I also took my two pairs of um, New Balance shoes. So I alternated these for each day. The, and they were wonderful. I didn't get any blisters. Um, my, I mean, my feet got tired because we were standing and walking so much, but alternating between shoes each day gave the shoe a chance to recover. And so it was comfortable when I put it on the next day. So I made everyone in my family bring two pairs of tennis shoes so that we could alternate, um, for the day. And these both just paired beautifully with everything that I've got here. New balance for the win. Both of these are new balance. I, yeah, I was so comfortable in both. Then I brought a ball cap. <laughs> this is actually, this is funny. So, um, a li I mean, a little sad. So my family, we vacation in Sanibel Island, Florida. My parents usually spend eight weeks there every winter. Um, it was very sadly uh, just annihilated in Hurricane Ian. The whole island, the causeway, everything that you get to the island, it was horrific. Um, but my parents actually were planning on not going this year anyway, um, because of my mom's treatment, but, um, they have a, a bait and tackle shop there called Whitney's, Whitney's Bait and Tackle. So, um, I have a hat and my husband has a hat and, uh, I took the orange hat and I wore this a couple of times just for a little bit of, ooh, when I was feeling like my face, I mean, I had sunscreen on, but a couple of the days when I felt like I'd had a little too much sun, it was nice to have a little hat. So I had that. And then folks... This little crossbody bag. I got this off Amazon. It comes in a ton of different colors. My sister had a color as well. This one's got, it's an olive green, but it, can you see it's got like a camo kind of just in the texture. I liked that, that it wasn't just solid. So I wore this, not as a fanny pack, but kind of just on the front of me as we were walking through the parks. It has this big pocket here where I put um, my sunglasses, I had my wallet, although everything was magic band, you have this bracelet thing on it, but I did want my wallet on me so it wasn't just left in the room. And then I also took a cell phone charger pack, um, you know, the battery pack so you can charge your cell phone on the, on the go because you were using an app so much it drained your phone. So everyone, we were all, you know, my family were using that throughout the day. So that went into the main part of this, the, the pack. Um, and then this little back zipper here is where my phone went and everything was right there. Um, my husband well, we had two string backpacks that my husband and kids um, alternated carrying that had water bottles in it for us. We each had a water bottle and sunscreen um, to reapply. And, um, and then any purchases that we made went in that. But I highly recommend this little Amazon purchase for any kind of, you know, fall festivals or anything where you're walking around and you want hands free. Now, is it the most flattering on my bust? Probably not, but it was so, you could also wear it in the back, but. It was so functional that I don't think I care. And very, very cute. So highly recommend these. I will leave links down to everything below, per normal. 
So there you have it, guys. This was my little capsule handmade wardrobe that I took to Disney that worked. There's nothing I would change if I were to go back. I would change nothing about what I brought. I would bring everything again. <laughs> I had, j I wore everything I took. It was perfect. I didn't overpack. I didn't underpack. Everything was perfect. So that is what worked for me for my active trip and uh, highly recommend all of these pieces and they will all be linked in the description box below if you're interested. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. I hope you get some sewing in and I will see you guys again on Sunday with um, a tutorial on how to hem jeans. Oh, also real quick, my mom. Um, she's had her second round of chemo. I just want to say thank you to all of the well wishes and prayers that I have been sent in the comments um, with her diagnosis. It's just, it's just been mind blowing. And I just wanted to let you guys know the prayers are working, that um, she is doing much better than anticipated. Um, and I think even surprising doctors a little bit. So we've, we've only done two rounds. We have six to go and there's a surgery that's in there as well. So we still have a very long road ahead of us, but I just wanted to say a big thank you and um, things are going really well. So as well as can be expected. So thank you guys so much for those and any continued prayers um, and thoughts would be very, very appreciated. All right. That's all I've got for today. Have a good weekend. Get some sewing in. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.